Uh, welcome back from that break. Uh, we'll have a uh, loft heater holder, general manager, Goro Subway, Nigerian Limited, the producers of Lena Bobod Rice, joining us to look at the issue of smuggling. Uh, thanks for joining us, um, Lofty. What's the situation right now? Because before now, one would have thought that um, the government's uh, policy of um, closing the land border would have addressed the issue of smuggling. What do we have in our hands right now? Yeah, thank you very much uh, for this uh, opportunity to do on, also share my thoughts on issues of uh, smuggling, more especially uh, a process rights. So it is a very alarming situation. Now, if you go to market, most of the time we go to surveys, you find out that there are foreign groups in the market competing with the locally processed. And the smuggling situation has really affected the, the local producers that uh, are basically depending on the raw material in Nigeria. So this has also affected the, the supply chain because you find out that people uh, get engaged to process rice, cultivate it and process it in Nigeria, but there's no much market for it. You find out that all the foreign goods are flooded into the market. Uh, in places like where we are with Adam Mountain, you find out that we have forest lands, forest land borders that bordering Chad, Cameroon, you know, Niger, and some other parts from uh, this axis, you find out that the influx of uh, processed foreign uh, rice in the country, and this has really affected the, the farmers, the processors, in, in order to analyze a, a revenue or gain from the activities that they're, they're, they're involved in. Let's do talk about the issue of um, rice processing. Aside from the uh, the problem with them um, smuggling that uh, local um, processors are complaining about, uh, what other issues uh, is actually uh, the stumbling block in uh, getting it um, right in terms of um, rice production in Nigeria? Yeah, we, we have millions of issues. More especially, we say energy. Energy is the major power, power, power play in the uh, processing industry. The cost of uh, diesel now is, is so high. In some places, you can get uh, 90, uh, 900 naira per, per liter. So most of the our machines, in some places, you find out there is no stable power. So you have to use generators, and uh, some of the, the processing plants are also using this. So due to this high cost of diesel, you find out that it has uh, uh, it has uh, increased the cost of production. Whereby sometimes you even produce at loss. Uh, presently, you find out that paddy is sold uh, almost uh, 25,000 naira per, 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 per 85 kg now in, in this our, our area. So by the time you process, you put paddy at the cost of 25,000 naira, then added with the cost of the, the, the excess cost of diesel. You find out that you in, in some production you cannot even break even. Rice is sold at one thousand naira here in Adama State. Mm. In some places you can get thirty thousand from the producers. And if you look at it, the cost of producing one bag of parboy rice is almost equivalent as the cost of uh, cost of the, the market price. So this is one of the major challenges that is facing the local processors because there's high cost of uh, production in terms of diesel, in terms of uh, some, some places that you, you use hogs or firewood, you, you, you find out that all this, because of the additional cost in the energy, what right. uh, petrol and diesel, it has also increased the cost of production. So this is one of the major challenges local process processors are happening. All right, Lofty, for the sake of time, we'll have to bring you on the show again because there are myriad of issues to be discussed as regards some rice processing, but we are completely out of time. Uh, we must say a very big thank you to you. Uh, Lofty Tahula, General Manager, Goro Sobu in Nigeria Limited, producers of Alina Pabo Rice. Uh, that's the size of the show for today. And uh, Business Insights uh, will return again same time, uh, half past nine tomorrow. Bye for now.